Now, after a lengthy legal battle over making the documents public, the U.S. House Ways and Means Committee has released former U.S. President Donald Trump's tax returns from 2015 to 2020. This was done as a part of the investigations into the presidential audit program. The documents show that Trump was not being regularly audited by the Internal Revenue Service. And that despite reporting millions in earnings, he only paid very little in tax by claiming large business losses. Trump further declared negative income in the years 2015, 2016, 2017 and also 2020. His tax returns have been made public just days before the Republicans retake the control of the House from the Democrats. The former U.S. President's tax data will now be available for in-depth investigations by journalists and other independent tax experts. During the run-up to the 2024 presidential election, the data will help to shed light on Trump's wealth, his business performances and how he reduced his tax liability. The nearly 6,000 pages of records include over 2,700 pages of personal returns from Trump and also his wife Melania. The data also includes 3,000 pages of returns from his businesses. Trump, who played down the importance of the release of his returns in a videotaped statement, said that the great U.S. divide will now grow far worse and the radical left Democrats have weaponized everything. Although these tax returns contain relatively little information and not information that almost anybody would understand, they're extremely complex, the radical Democrats' behavior is a shame upon the U.S. Congress. Trump, who is running for the presidential election in 2024, continues to face major backlash about his business practices. Just earlier this month, a New York jury found that the Trump organization guilty on 17 counts of criminal tax fraud. Even though Trump was not a part of the trial, the prosecutor said that he knew about off-the-book practices that were being carried up. 